My name is Brayden DeRogi and I am a senior starting attack. Um, I've been playing lacrosse, well this actually this is my first year playing lacrosse. I played when I was in the second grade and I ended up quitting at the end of the season uh, to start a third or fourth grade. So this is my first time playing in about eight or nine years. Braden Derogi, smart athlete, and, and that's that's the be, that's the number one thing for me. Uh, smart athletes are easy to coach, and Braden's one of those kids. Sees the field well, uh, asset down below, um, settles the ball well, and uh, he's a communicator. My name is Connor, and I am the goalie. I've been playing lacrosse since fourth grade. My season's been pretty good. I mean, we've had some rough spots, but we've been handling them. Connor Cody, um, kind of the heart and soul of the defense, uh, keeps everything together. Uh, he's been with me since uh, middle school. He uh, works hard. He's getting better at his clears. Um, and uh, again, he's raising his IQ, lacrosse IQ, just in time to leave us, right? Um, fun kid uh, and uh, loves his teammates. Uh, Owen Pusher, D Mitty. I've been playing lacrosse for one year. I think it's going pretty good for me this year. First year playing, like I've picked it up pretty quickly. I still have a lot to learn, but. I thought I might as well go out with a bang if I was going to do something, so. Owen Pusher, first year player. Uh, he's, he's really stepped up. He's my captain, my first captain, and uh, the other three fallen behind him. Uh, he's done great. He's our spark plug on defense. He makes things go. Um, he steps in and takes face-offs. He's a solid, solid athlete. So my name is Sean Doyle, and I'm an attacker. Uh, last year was my first year of lacrosse. The season's going pretty good. We had a lot of new guys, but they all came together pretty well, and it's very fun. John Doyle. Again, I said it earlier, um, he's kind of that magnet. Guys like him. He's fun to be around. Uh, his lacrosse IQ is raised to another level. He's getting better and better with every day. And uh, you wouldn't know he's only played lacrosse for two years. I'm Wyatt Brand, and I play uh, midfield. Uh, I've been playing lacrosse for about four years. This is my first year playing for Gardner. Wyatt Brand came to us late. I think he got a start when he was at Erskine. He's, he's learning our way of playing lacrosse, the Gardner way. Um, there's a little more grit to him. Uh, he's getting better at ground balls. Wyatt's getting better and better every day. Uh, my name is Colby Mayhew. I play midi. That's, that's it. I've been playing lacrosse all four years of high school. Uh, this season's going pretty good. Had a little rocky start there, but we're picking it back up. We're doing pretty good now. Colby Mayhew, solid uh, defensive and offensive player. He's kind of finding his way back. He was gone early on with uh, vacation and Latin club, I think it was. Um, but he's filling in nicely, he tends to bring excitement uh, to practice and to the game. My name's Taylor Tweedy, and I am. Uh part of the starting defense. Uh, I've been playing lacrosse for one year. I don't know, I, li I like lacrosse better than any other sport because all the other coaches suck. Oh, I just wanted to hang out with friends, I guess, so I decided to play lacrosse. 
Taylor Tweedy, another first-year player. Uh, glad to have him. Worked his way into a starting position. Being an ex-basketball player, he's got great footwork. Stick checks are getting better, and he's really understanding the game. Kind of the heart and soul back there. So my name is Angelo Gelli-Babars, and I am an attacker. I have been playing lacrosse for, I'd say, 10 years, but I played two out of the four years here in high school. The season's going pretty good. We're finally all coming together as more of a team because at the beginning of the year, we were all like our own person. But as the season went on, we kind of became like more brothers. Angelo uh, started out his freshman year, took the next two years off. One was COVID. The other one, uh, he just decided not to play. Glad he's back. He's a great, he's got great hands around the net. He's going to play at USM, which will be a great fit for him. Strong hockey sense, which, ten, which tends to lead into his uh, uh, lacrosse IQ. Uh, my name is Alex Grover, and I play defensive midi. I've been playing lacrosse for only this year. I switched to lacrosse because most of my friends play lacrosse, and baseball, I just was kind of losing interest in it. Still kind of learning the sport as I'm going, so as I can tell, we're doing pretty good. It's a fun group of people. Alex Grover, another one, first year player. I keep saying this for 12, uh, all 12 of them probably. Um, Alex, smart athlete, uh, very intellectual about his game. He loves to learn more and more. He's kind of been that sponge for us. He scored a goal tonight, his first one uh, of his career, and uh, hopefully we'll have him contribute during the postseason. My name is Ryan Moore and I'm part of the starting defense. <laughs> Played for two years before high school and then right now, last year for my senior year. Picking it back up, a little, want a little uh, win streak right now, so we to continue it. Ryan Moore, a uh, dynamic defender, uh, came to us uh, through basketball, uh, first year playing. Uh, he's been uh, a super addition to the defense. Uh, I'm excited uh, to see towards the end of the season what he, he does. Colby Vassell, I'm a senior defender. I've been playing lacrosse for four years, well three minus the COVID year. The season's going fairly well. I mean, we got a winning record now, so that's good. The coach is pretty experienced. I mean, he's been lacrosse coach here for I think this is 24th year so definitely knows what he's doing he's a good guy good coach great help for the team Colby Vassell um, again late starter started when he was a freshman for us started as a short stick midi uh, moved him into long stick he's played tons of minutes for us going on to Franklin Pierce gonna give D2 lacrosse a try um, he usually with the other two defenders figure out who to lock down and uh, usually it's a pretty good matchup for him. Uh, my name's Cam Rizzo and I'm an attackman. I've been playing lacrosse for six years now, just about give or take. Yeah, we start out slow in the beginning parts of the season, and now we're picking it up. So that's pretty good. Cam Rizzo, uh, raw athlete, uh, been playing lacrosse for a long time, uh, finishes well, uh, kind of our fearless leader uh, on just doing. You know, he's not a vocal leader, he's that doer. He'll score a ton of goals. Uh, He'll pick us up when we're down, um, and he just uh, smart, smart instincts around the net. He changed hands midstream in front, and Rizzo gets it. To Is there anybody on the, on the team that you feel like you're really close with? Uh, I think I'm close with uh, Cole Brand. Cole's like my little brother. Uh, I get to bully him and beat on him, so it's fun.
but he gives it back to me, so it's it's okay. Who has supported you over the years? Is there anybody that you want to thank? I'd like to thank Matt Poirier, Warren Kahlberg, and Gabe Poirier, and Garrett Mayhew, my brother, for being great seniors and great friends throughout the cross. Uh, both my parents have supported me all the way up through all the grade levels, and they've supported my decision to switch from baseball, which I've played all my life, to lacrosse this year. Someone who supported me a lot was my mother. She had always pushed me to always go to the gym and work out and just run so that way I would be like more in shape for hockey and lacrosse. I mean, I guess I'd like to thank my parents because they wanted me to play. That's about it. My parents supported me throughout the years and now I'm here. I'd like to thank my parents, but especially my dad, Bill Moore, really. I'd like to thank my dad. People who have supported me over the years are my parents and my coaches. Uh, my parents and family members have supported me throughout the years. I'd like to thank my mom for definitely being the most supportive. I'd like to thank my, my mom and my dad and my grandparents. They've like never missed a game of mine I and mean, they've been supporting me and they've put in the time to drive me to practices and games and so I think a big thanks to them. They've helped me become who I am today. What advice do you have for underclassmen? Uh, don't, don't be afraid to get hit. You're going to get hit at least once, twice, or a hundred times, but yeah. Uh, my advice for next year is to be listening to the coaches and to not talk in line. Uh, my advice for underclassmen would be to be yourself. Don't suck. <laughs> Don't suck. I'm going to have to copy Taylor on that one. Try your best, and that's really it. Um, don't be dumb. Don't suck. Also, going to have to go with what Taylor said. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, definitely listen to coach. That would be my advice, as well as train in the off season because it will help. Show up to practice. Don't miss too much. Um, just work hard. The advice would be just work hard in practice. Just keep working hard and have fun with the sport. Honestly, just keep your head down and work in games and practice. Just keep the grind going. Just keep working hard and don't get too down on yourself. It's a tough sport, but you're going to have fun in the end. This is a fun group. Uh, they came out of the blue. I wasn't expecting this many first-year players. Um, and. Uh, the greatest recruiting tool is the year before, right? If the kids have fun, it filters on down. And uh, I think these guys had a good time. Uh, Ryan and, and uh, Taylor at the defense with, with uh, Colby, uh, that, it, that's gonna be hard to replace all three of those guys. Um, Connor, we have another guy that is underling that they'll be replacing him. Hopefully he'll be able to do what Connor did. And at attack, you know, I've moved all kinds of guys through. Um, going to miss all of them. Uh, Cam's got 50 goals almost, or 40 goals almost, sorry. Uh, you know, Sean Doyle's got a ton of goals. That, that's hard to replace, but uh, hopefully you can. And uh, I'll surely miss these guys a lot. Tigers on three. Ready? One, two, three. Tigers!